like the way you are speaking mm-hmm. so that all things matter a lot that is okay. like very important part i got shortlisted like in many of the companies because of my resume because i did work on that currently i'm working as an interface developer at providence Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys. I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys. So today we have Nitika with us and we're going to understand how her interview experience was at the company Providence. How many rounds were there? We're going to brief out every round with her and we're going to discuss the difficulty of every round as well and also understand the duration, how many questions were asked and how it went for her as a whole. So let's talk to Nitika and understand how it went. So hi Nitika, how are you? Yeah, hi Kabir, I'm good. Nitika, would you mind giving me a small introduction about yourself? Yeah, sure. So I'm Nitika. I did my graduation from Thapar University. Mm-hmm. Like I graduated in 2022. Okay. Currently I'm working as an interface developer at Providence. So it's been six months I've been working with Providence. That's great. That's great. Moving on to the interview experience, Nitika. Can you tell me how many rounds were there when you went for the interview? So yeah, there were four rounds. Okay. So first one was like the online coding assessment. Mm-hmm. And second one was a technical interview. Okay. And third one was a managerial round. Okay. And fourth one is as usual the HR round. Correct. Okay. So moving forward, can you tell me a brief about the first round? What actually happened in the coding interview, like the coding round? So in our online coding assessment, there were like few of the MCQ, which were based on SQL, cloud computing and mathematics were there. And one coding question was there, which was of medium level. Mm -hmm. And that could be answered in Java, Python or C++, any of the preferred language like you are looking okay and what was the duration of the round we were given three hours Uh but yeah i got finished off with it like in in an hour oh that's great that's that's really nice so since you got finished pretty soon you had two hours in buffer how much would you rate the difficulty of this round would you rate it to be easy medium or hard so it was like medium okay it was medium for you but I yeah. guess it should be easy since you did it in an hour. Why not easy? Because like if you get stuck in that coding question, it would have taken like a longer time. Correct. Okay. So somebody yeah. who has practiced perfectly can finish it up in an hour. Yeah. That's great. Okay. So moving forward now, when you went to the second round, which was a video call interview, correct? So what actually happened in that? So interviewer came. So it was in 45 minutes round. Mm-hmm. So they started off with some like normal question. My introduction was there and then they asked me like what all projects I've worked on. Mm-hmm. So I briefed them about all my projects and then there was a very easy like coding question. So okay. it was like how, how we can swap the numbers. So, so which is a very basic coding uh-huh. question. And then moving on, they asked me like few of the questions on SQL and then they were focusing on all the extracurricular activities I've done in my college. Okay. So they were interested into that. So how I was like performing throughout my college life. That's great. Okay. And what would you rate the difficulty of this round? Because since you had to give them answers to the projects and all, other than that, you have to tell them about the questions as well. So Again, the difficulty of this round? It was was easy. easy. Okay, that's great. So moving on to the third round, what actually happened in that? So that was a managerial round. So this Mm -hmm. was the first time I was facing this round because all the other companies did not have this round. Okay. So basically in this round, they test your pressure like situation. So I was given some situational questions like Mm -hmm. Providence is a chain of hospitals. Right. So they were giving me questions like if you have to work under this pressure, like if nurse is coming up to you and asking you to get this code corrected, get this thing done, mm-hmm. then they were asking me all the situational questions. So Providence hiring is also based on the values you have. Right. So basically this round was for checking the values you have. Correct. So it was more sort of a communication, like how you work under pressure. Will you be available on the weekends if we have anything like as this is a chain of hospitals? Mm-hmm. Uh, so this was all about this round. okay that's great since it was your first time how did you find it to be easy medium or hard so it was like easy for me so it was like i was having some communication with someone mm-hmm. randomly and discussing what would I have done in that situation if i would have right. been given some tech stack how would i learn mm-hmm. so they were asking questions like this 
So okay. I was just speaking out my mind at that point of time. I was not thinking like if I'm Correct. getting judged or something like that. That's great. So if some kind of question like do you be available on weekends or something like that comes up, so do you actually come up with an answer which is a legitimate one, or do you answer it in a way wherein you want to answer it correctly or you know in the favor of the company so that? they select you what is your take on questions like these so for me i answered it like that i'll be available for most of the time like i'll try my best to be available like okay. if i have some other emergency situation then only i'll like say no in the best possible way i'll like i'll be available that's great moving on to the final hr round what happened in that so hr round was like for 15 minutes only they asked me the very basic questions like what are your hobbies what is your strength and what is your weakness mm-hmm. and some stuff that's all yeah that's it i guess that also went pretty easy for you yes so talking about the entire interview experience only the first round was a little medium kind of a round wherein again it went pretty smooth for you because you solved the questions that were meant to be solved in 3 hours in an hour but uh, other than that everything was pretty easy and smooth yeah that's great i guess that also is a luck factor that comes up when you talk about placements yeah. in that case because you know when you're sitting in campus placements that's a very important factor when it comes up so moving on to the final question before we conclude this interview experience nitika is what i want to ask is what would you recommend or advise your juniors to do or you know to follow up so that they get a good placement because there are a lot of mistakes that we people make and we don't want the juniors to make those same mistakes so anything that you would like to advise them or the people watching this video i'll advise them to do dsc on the very regular basis like hmm. once you start preparing for the placements the other side i'll stay focused on the project work on resume that is okay. like very important part i got shortlisted like in many of the companies because of my resume because i did work on that okay and another side extra curricular activities do matter like okay. how much you have participated like the way you are speaking Mm-hmm. so that all things matter a lot that's really nice so i really thank you nitika for helping us out with this interview experience also guys if you want to read this interview experience out i'll put up a link in the description below where nitika has on herself written an article for us on the website so that you guys can read it out and also solve the problems that were asked to her in the interview experience so you can have a look at it and also give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one happy coding guys